Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So let's save AMD. I wanted to talk about this today. And of course they have people in the company who get paid very big money to make all those business plans and the strategy for the company to, to make more money to gain market share. But let's be some a little bit arrogant and let's let's pretend that we are all expert and we know better. And obviously it's easier for me because I'm on the internet, I have a microphone, I have camera, I have over 50 subscribers. So for me it's easy to be a bit arrogant and pretending that, that I know more than I know. But let's have some fun with that. How we can save an uh, AMD? Because we want strong AMD, so Nvidia doesn't have 100% because the more percentage they have, the, the more arrogant they have. They have 100% of market share, that means 100% of arrogance and they can put any price on their product and they give you any amount of VRAM. They will not care because there is nothing to, to be afraid of. So let's look at the Steam hardware just quickly. AMD very low and Intel catching up, it's quite sad. And you recognize an expert like I'm an expert now, knowing better that I'm really knowing. And you can recognize an expert by the slides he provides. So I have very professional slides here. And I will follow you through my way of thinking, what we can do to save AMD. So AMD obviously should focus on performance crown if possible. So big brain, obvious, just be the best. Nvidia does everything to win the performance crowns. They make sure that 4090 is the best because the perception of that card trickles down the stack. Like 4090 is the best, that means all the Nvidia cards are the best. AMD should try to do the same at almost all costs, even if the card costs $3,000 and takes like 600 watts. Doesn't matter, just make sure that you are the best. Maybe silly, maybe not, but I think it would help. Now, the drivers. I think the drivers are fine now for AMD, but they should make sure to never make this mistake they've done with 5000 card that at the very beginning there was some problems. And the best driver stigma stuck to them until today. Even today people think that an AMD has bad drivers, but now the drivers are pretty good now. Anyway, Vira, especially on lower end. VRAM now is the selling point for AMD. It's like number one reason probably why people decide to go with AMD because of VRAM. So please, AMD, make sure you always provide more than Nvidia. And I will get that to that card over here because they provide they give only eight gigabytes. But I have a solution for that, and it's not more VRAM. Now get new tech. Nvidia provides. You know, even though they have 90% market share, they still pushing for new technology. They still they still try, which is very impressive in respect to them. So a Nvidia comes with a frame generation and uh, AMD probably will do the same in two years. The same would happen with ray tracing two years later and worse. Uh, the same with DLSS two years later and worse. So that's not winner's strategy. That's a loser strategy. If they want to lose the last 10%, they should just continue and then they will be sorted. No AMD on the market. Another thing, and now we get into a bigger things in my opinion, even though they sounds like less important names. Like I don't like this name because it's not easy to pronounce in different languages than English. But more important is, is the naming of those cards. Like, look at that. Like, at the moment, all the cards they have is like 90 range, like 7900 XT and XTX. It's quite silly. It's like insecurity, it feels weak. And somebody very smart in the company thought that it's a good idea to name the CPUs the same way like you name the GPUs. But this leads to another problem that's a very serious problem that I didn't think about before, but it's quite serious, more serious than I thought. Like when people compare cards, AMD cards and Nvidia cards, they very often compare by name. I normally thought that everybody compare by price. Like you have $500, $500 budget and you decide $500 AMD, $500 Nvidia card and what is better. But that's what not people do. A lot of people on forums on Reddit compare by like 3060 to 6600. And then Nvidia always win. Uh, 3070 Ti to 6700 XT. That's, you know, that's what people do. And you can convince them that you should compare by price because this card is way cheaper. But people said, no, but that's completely, then it's completely different. Let, let me actually show you. Like this slide here by UFD Tech. And he said something similar to what most people do. That that's different performance class. Even though this card costs the same as this one, more or less. But it doesn't matter. When it launched, it was, it was more expensive. And it was competing with 30. 80. You know what I mean? They should lower the stack to reverse the trend, to make it opposite. And let's go back here to my beautiful slides. So what they should do to rename those uh, those cards. And look, if they put, make name this card, 
7700 XT and I know it sounds crazy but please just check what you think about this they make 7700 XT they lower the price a little bit 100 200 much hopefully match the price of 4070 ti and this card with this performance compete with this card even then even with this pricing and this performance advantage they still wouldn't gain that much of market share but it would be a good start 7900 xt renamed to 7700 and compete with 4070. This card would eat this card for breakfast, but at the price of worse DLSS, worse ray tracing, and no frame generation. But that would be a bare minimum, in my opinion, and price accordingly. And obviously, guys, this card here. Now, people are getting upset at NVIDIA with this card because AMD was bragging about the VRAM and now they're releasing a card with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And of course, there's many solutions, but they want to keep the card cheap, yes? So they can really provide more VRAM or more performance. But what they can do, just rename the card. Just call it 7400. And that's it. Nobody will compare this to 4060 anymore because then it will be different performance class. And keep the price and people then may buy it because amd offer lower tier cards than nvidia that people want buy the cheaper card but if they keep this card it will be compared to 4060 it will be compared that's why i believe that amd should change the naming scheme because at the moment they're pushing everything up and they get trapped it's get it works against them they should push everything down they have a lot of space down 7500 7400 73 you know all the way to 7100 they should go down not up when you go to take power up and you compare the card you don't have situation like 6600 that is weaker than 3600 it should be swapped other way around that's the way to go in my opinion and another thing is is the price of the funders edition they should copy nvidia what nvidia is doing because nvidia plays it smart they release funders edition that is impossible to buy worldwide you can only buy in united states at best buy that's when you can buy nvidia funders edition so they should do the same just make very little copies of them as good quality as possible as low price as possible like even at the edge that is not profitable but it doesn't matter because you make like a paper large pretty much just make them very little just to win reviews because what they're doing now they price the cards as high as possible and i understand the logic you price the high people don't like don't like the price then you lower the price you give a promotion and people like promotions yeah all good no because what's happening you get bad reviews and you cannot you cannot get rid of bad reviews anymore even when you lower the price you stuck with them and then people go online because they want to buy a product they're smart customers that's what you should do you want to buy a product always check reviews you check in reviews and you see pictures like that Please AMD, stop doing that. Do the opposite. Do what Nvidia does. So yes, as an expert, I give AMD solution that will be, you know, I, I, like few million dollars advice or probably hundreds of dollars advice, but I give it for free because I'm a nice guy and arrogant enough to do this video now. So yeah, guys, please let me know in the comments below. Give some advices to AMD, what AMD can do so it put pressure on nvidia because nvidia shouldn't have 90 percent of market share that's not healthy for us not healthy for anybody so yeah guys don't forget smash the like subscribe and thank you for watching